and good day. Today we're having a bit of a look at this. It's a Veridashian or bike bag, bike pannier. Uh, Oitlieb over here is uh, location loving and Tashin down here is bag so you've got the English um, equivalent underneath. And we'll flip over and have a bit of a look at the, the box here outer. And we don't have a lot on that side there. I'm guessing there are other products that the company produces. And nothing much there. The other side, flip that around. Very quickly, you can pause it at any time. And this is on the back. A bit of weight in the bags, actually. And we've got four languages uh, on the top. You've got in, um, German, English, uh, French, and uh, what's it on the end? Uh, Spanish. So that's... Uh, what it looks like. Let's open this thing and get into it, which is there it looks like. Okay, pop that open and there we go. They come in different colours. I've chosen a red because I think that's a nice uh, safety colour. They have yellows, blues, greens and of course greys. Got a little reflective uh, patch on the back. Not much on the inside. What's in there? That looks like a little pocket. Oh yeah, a little pocket. And we've got a uh, solid board there, it looks like. So that's quite nice. And uh, we've got another one here. Let's pull out the other one. And of course, they should be identical. And on the back, as you can see, actually the quality is uh, it's quite nice. It's a heavy, heavy duty. What do we got? Oh, we got something in here. What have we got in here? Bits and pieces, more things down the bottom. Oops, bumping the camera. <laughs> and uh, same sort of thing with a little elastic side on it. Looks like that's to hold the, the pad in, so that's kind of handy. Pop that aside and see what we got here. Okay, they're the shoulder pads. We've got a five year warranty on them. They're made in Germany, the whole bag itself, which is quite good. And we've got, uh, what's this little bit of info it looks like. Okay, you can have a bit of a read of it if you like. Just basically just pushing their product, telling you how good it is. And that's that. And what do we got here? It looks like instructions have we here. So just hold that there and again you can pause it and have a bit of a read at any time, flip it over on the other side and that's basically all there is to it. And what do we got here? Lots of little clips. Okay, well I'll have some fun figuring out what to do with all of them and again we'll go and check it out on the bike once I get it there. Now with the bag comes these little things and these are different sizes and what they're meant to do is to fit over the top of these over the actual frame itself so you get one that's the correct dimension and they act as an anti-scratch they fit inside the little handle thingy in here so you slide them into this spot here and it just stops the uh, paint from being scratched off the uh, little pack rack they come in uh, three sizes, that's a 12, oh, so that's an 8, and uh, this one's a 10, they're stamped on it, my frame is a 10, so that fits over quite nicely, so they'll be the ones that I'll be using. And they just uh, slide in, and they just snap in position, and that stops the paint from being scratched on the little pack rack itself. So I'll fit the others and away we go. Now I was just having a bit of a look at the adjustment mechanism. So you can lift these little flaps up, slide it backwards and forwards so you can actually get the positioning on your bike, on the rack itself, to a nice uh, comfortable spot, which is what we're about to do. Just work out where I want the clips to go on. Yeah, it fits okay, do the other side. Let's see if it does the same over here. Yep, that locks in very, very nice. Okay, now we've got to adjust the other one, which 
is down the bottom here, this one. And you can twist this to loosen it and it slides backwards and forwards and around again. So it's just a matter of positioning it onto your uh, pack rack and uh, hopefully lock it in and it'll be perfect. We'll come back to that in a second. I thought the best way to test out the little pannier bags was to uh, take them on a trip up to the local milk bar, which I've done. Bought a loaf of bread and as you can see it pops in quite easy, not a problem. I'm not worried about snapping it in position at the moment. Um, I've actually got some more things to go in the bag before I use the clip on it. Now the other bag has got a bottle of two litre milk in it and it's also got a two litre diet coke. Now this one I just put the shoulder strap back in and the little flap there, the little security tab, I'll just hold that over roughly. Again I'm not that really worried, uh, it's not going to fall out and you can see how easily it just snaps on the back of the uh, little pack rack there, just drop it down and nice and secure. I certainly can't complain about that. And of course uh, I've locked the bike to the rail there, uh, just as a precaution. People are funny, you give them an option and some will you know, steal things, so I try and make it as hard as I can for anybody that uh, has an idea of nicking the bike. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully uh, you've enjoyed it. If you do, please consider giving me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down by all means. But at least give me a reason why you don't like the video in the comments and I'll try and do better in the future. If you haven't subscribed, please consider. I'd like that as well. All the very best. Hopefully I'll catch you on the next video. Take care. Till then. Bye.